actually, we got the look exactly that I wanted, but I didn't want to change the play. You know, I, I wanted to let the play eat and all those kind of things. Uh, but we got the same kind of look with different people covering, you know, they, they put different bodies in there. And I told, I just told Seth, I think it was a TV timeout or two minute warning, if I'm not mistaken, we were in the hub. And I told him, I said, Seth, if we get too high, I know what you got, but just take the middle. And I'm going to try and pump it one way. Uh, I'm going to throw you the ball if it's too high. And he just, okay. You know, and Seth's natural form, he just said, okay. And um, I threw it. I honestly thought I overthrew it by about 12 yards. And he hit another gear and went and got that ball and kept it off the ground. I thought that was, had to be the play with by Seth. You know, that catch and that coverage, huh, it was really impressive. Well, yeah, you know, when, when you do things in practice, you see opportunity, opportunity for it, but they have to play the right coverage. You know, they got to play, uh, you know, with, with, with uh, certain people in certain positions. You know what I mean? It's not just something that uh, is a foregone conclusion. Like, when we get in this game, this is one of those plays that's for sure going to happen. Uh, you just hope that in a certain situation, in a certain set, and all those kind of things, you get a certain look. Uh, they gave it to us, uh, and Seth, Seth made the play. Yeah. Well, you know, Derek, to me, is uh, one of those joker kind of players. You know, he's, uh, he's one of those tight ends that runs 4-4 and uh, jumps 40-inch you know, bird and all those kind of things, and uh, super explosive. But we had Jared Cook. Who's a Pro Bowl tight end, and if he doesn't go to the Pro Bowl, it's a shame. Um, you know that guy; he's one of the best players in this league. So Derek doesn't get all those reps, right? You know, if, if Jared wasn't here, or wasn't playing, then obviously Derek would be that guy. So there's so much confidence in who he is, and you know, you talk to Goff or any of those guys that had him uh, before; they they love him, they rave about him. You know, and so the fact uh, that his number was called if versus a certain look and all those kind of things, I, I had 100 percent. Um, I actually missed him on that same play uh, uh, against Denver. In Denver, uh, he could have scored again, and it was my fault. I made a mistake uh, on, on a call. But uh, you know, I, I told him I hugged him afterwards. I said I owed you for the one against Denver. So uh, he, you know, we always have that confidence. He just doesn't get a lot of plays his way. I mean, you saw the seam route. You know, I mean, you know, the guy is the guy is a heck of a player. <laughs> Oh man, my two, this is my second favorite win ever. Yeah, if they were in our division, it would be first. But uh, it's definitely my second favorite. I'm sorry. You can't sit. Oh, I thought for sure I was throwing it. You know, it just slipped out of my hand as I was throwing it. You know, it wasn't like I, it slipped and I dropped it. I didn't get hit, so I knew for sure. As the ball went forward, I was like, ah, I just slipped out as I was trying to throw it going forward. And uh, I went to ask in, in those kind of intense situations. Uh, sometimes I think you're going to come at them and they're just like, it's confirmed already, you know, and you don't get to come or say about it. So um, I didn't really get to hear why or what, but it, it's just one of those things. I thought it was incomplete. I kind of jogged over there looking at the ball just in case, like waiting for a whistle. And then all of a sudden I didn't blow a whistle, so I tried to move my guard and, you know, look for the ball. But, uh, I thought for sure it was incomplete, honestly. I didn't. I was surprised. You were sitting at one point this year with like seven touchdown passes and eight picks, and there was a boat, oh, moving car, and they didn't get along, and it didn't work out. Yes. And they had an 11 touchdown pass to go with no interception. Mm -hmm. Did they paint it in any way? Um, if, I don't, I went to Fresno State, and so those are big words. <laughs> Fresno's an amazing school. <laughs> and y'all should all go there especially uh, you football players. Uh, but uh, no, I, I think being able to show our team that our relationship, this system, we've tried to sell it as hard as we both can. You know, uh, it was, it's gonna, we knew it was gonna be a process. We didn't know, you know stat-wise how it was gonna start out, but we knew it would just take time for people to see it, you know, you know the way that we see it, things like that. And uh, to be able to do that, I think it feels good because it, it, it puts a stamp on it like, fellas, if we just continue to do right, and uh, just do it this way, um, you know, then good things can happen. So it does feel good in that way. Um, from like an outside perspective, I, I know what I'm capable of. You know I me, mean? you know me, you know. I know what I'm capable of. I know I know how to play this game. So I, I wouldn't, I wasn't worried about that stuff, unless it was completely false. 
and that's different. But uh, you know, that, that those kind of things happen when you lose and it's not going well. But I knew eventually it would change, man. I'm just I thank God that we won this game, man, because you know, I think our, our young guys, the way they played and all those kind of things, it showed that man, if you get that kind of effort, if you compete that way and you keep doing things the right way, we can beat some of the best teams in the world. You know, I think early on in the season, now again, I'm dealing you know, a new play caller, different mindset, uh, different plays, all those things. Uh, but I'm just trying, I'm trying so hard just to do it the right way. And I'm trying to get to the right check and all these things. And I was making mistakes early on. Uh, mistakes in, in the fact that I'm trying to force something. We've talked about that too. Uh, you know, I'm trying to make too much happen. I'm trying to, you know, instead of doing the check down, I'm trying to force that. And, you know, go, you know, trying to push the ball down the field and all these kind of things. And as I just settled down and coach, coach grabbed me and said, Derek, I don't, I really don't care about stats or things like that. I, I just want to see you efficiently do exactly what I tell you. And honestly, when he said that, it was freeing to me. So it was almost like I was trying to prove something to him. Like, oh, I can do it. You know, I can do it. You know what I mean? Um, and it just kind of, it kind of settled me down. He's a great coach. He calmed me down. And just, man, just do exactly, you know, the way I've taught you. You, you know, you see things, check this, and get to this audible, and hand signal this. And uh, if it's this situation, make sure you don't force this. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and just having, just having those conversations and learning from him. Uh, and him just not blowing me off, or him just not, oh man, whatever, he just can't do it. You know, he really sat me down and just talked to me. You know, and uh, we both we worked together, we worked really hard together, and uh, I think that that is the reason is our communication, uh, which is something else we could you know, laugh at sometimes, but our communication is really we got to this point of you know just me being able to play free um, and just trust. Hey man, yeah, you know sometimes they're going to cover that play, just just live with it because I called it, you know, uh, that kind of thing. So. Uh, he, he, he just tries to make it easy on me, and uh, he's really, really fun to play with. When? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, what week is this? 14? It had to be it, early on. It was, I can't, man, I wish I, I wish I could remember. It was early on after one of those lawsuits where um, maybe I tried to do something too much or, you know, miss something, you know. Uh, and he, he would just tell me, he'd sit me down. Yeah, we, I say sit me down. It wasn't like a kind of, Jesus moment, you know, I sit down with him every day, you know, for multiple hours, so it's not like that, but in one of those meetings, he just looked at me and said that, and, um, it was freeing for me, because he could tell I'm just trying to, I'm trying, I'm a pleaser, I'm trying to please him, and Ols Coach Olson, Oli, uh, Callie, uh, I'm just trying to please them, I'm trying to do exactly what they want, and they said, man, just relax, and do exactly, you know, this way, what we tell you, and it was freeing, and I, I really believe that that's what helped me. Sarah, so we're just talking about the mental aspect of the yeah. how does that Oh, well, look, I, I, you know, we've, we've had a, I think I told you, Thanos showed up and banished everybody, you know. Uh, you know, that, you know, it takes time to build chemistry with a, a new guys, right? Uh, you know, and obviously I, I knew I had to play better. Uh, it doesn't matter who's in there, how, much t how many times I've thrown the ball. Uh, you know, you get a guy like Joe Lefeld who just shows up one day, you know, he's our shot, you know, and now i got to get this chemistry. Then he gets hurt, now it's Marcel, you know. Keon, you know, you know, Johnny's back, you know, and uh, it, it's it's been tough, but there's no excuse um, in this league that you have to produce. You you got to complete passes, and uh, I give those guys credit because they continue to work their tails off um, and just trust. You know, anything I would say, you know, hey, can you do it like this? And, and another thing is, Jordy Nelson is one of the best player coaches I've ever been around in my life. Uh, just having him on our team. Um, makes us a better team, you know, let alone what he can do on the field, but just mentally what he can do for everybody. So uh, in certain conversations and things like that, but, um, you, know, I, you know, obviously one is they've got a lot of different pieces too, is I just had to play better. That's why I'm Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. He tried to plug that, didn't he? <laughs> I mean, I did. I don't know if y'all did. But, uh, you know, not not when we started out. You know, you stand there and you got Jordy Nelson, and Amari Cooper, uh, Seth Roberts, and Jared Cook. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, you, you forget about Derek and Lee quickly in the past game, right? Um, there were
wasn't many plays designed for him uh, in training camp. Uh, you, know, you know, Lee is a you know, blocker, heavy guy, and all those kind of things. And uh, Derek was, you know, just you know playing in a <coughs> spot, you know, just behind him. And so, uh, you know, I know now to throw to everybody during training camp, take every rep. And no one else gets reps anymore. But uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's so fun to see guys like that come in.